Okay, we're going to talk about distributed computing again. Uh, and we're, we've talked about it before, and we'll talk about it again because distributed computing is itself distributed across management, access, uh, uh, business continuity, planning, uh, the uh, architecture, uh, telecommunications, and operations. Uh, but of course here we are talking specifically about the concerns and um, uh, factors involved in developing uh, distributed applications. Um, and, uh, you know, it is uh, definitely adding a, uh, not just a layer, quite a large amount of complexity to uh, an application and um, what uh, we need to do in order to secure it. Uh, of course, starting with deciding what type of security it is that you are uh, particularly concerned about with regard to this uh, particular application. Um, we, as I have said before, uh, distributed computing, although uh, it, uh, you know, a lot of people will sell it to you now as, as the cloud and therefore a new idea, it's not a new idea, it is, um, uh, has been called time sharing, has been called client server. Uh, now the the big term is cloud. It doesn't matter. The, you know the idea is the same that you are uh, using somebody else's computer. And um, in regard to uh, distributed computing, we are increasingly uh, trying to uh, make it non-obvious, hide the fact that we are, in fact, uh, using multiple uh, computers in a given system, in a given application. Um, so we, we have that. This is increasingly being used for uh, uh, applications for different companies, for uh, different industries. Um, it is... Uh, uh, well, we, we live in an increasingly complex environment. And again, uh, the uh, complexity is the enemy of security. We want to try as far as possible uh, to make things as simple as possible when we are doing it. So again, in, in terms of our system development lifecycle, our uh, assurance of the security of the applications that we are developing, we have to take that into account. We have to uh, be as, as thorough as possible in identifying areas of uh, difficulty, um, areas of complexity, uh, areas of insecurity amongst all of the um, architecture that we're dealing with in the infrastructure. Um, we are looking at standard programming interfaces, we're looking at open systems, uh, we're looking at naming conventions and protocols, um, we're looking at the functionality of the server uh, that we're using, the, um, uh, generally the, the remote system, although, as I say, that... Uh, uh, can be turned around with uh, systems like X. Um, we uh, we are trying to ensure uh, that the systems are operating uh, transparently uh, across multiple computers without giving evidence of which particular uh, computer we are using. That that is going to be hidden at least from the users, although. Um, we might make uh, some provision 
for uh, support people, developers, and, and so forth to identify um, what uh, system it is that is uh, producing uh, certain parts of the application and uh, how that is, is working out. Um, so we, uh, that all uh, has to be factored in as we determine what we are going to be doing with the application, how we are going to be developing the application, um, ensuring uh, that we take account of that complexity and, and properly address the security implications thereof. That is um, a, a constant battle, um, and it, it's, it's increasing. Uh, as we get into much more complex environments, we uh, are integrating uh, uh, servers, farms, um, virtual environments. The, the cloud is very often a virtual environment that um, we, are, we are using applications and functions, um, possibly from our desktop computer, that... Um, are running in uh, a server farm and, and we have no idea how they uh, address the aspect of uh, continuity and, and um, reliability uh, in terms of having an individual uh, platform go down within their farm. Um, how, how they are uh, addressing that. Again, you know, um, as I've said before, a lot of people think that uh, cloud means security, but it depends on what type of security and, uh, and the vendor that you're buying from and whether or not they have specifically made provisions for that type of security uh, and whether that is, in fact, what you want. Um, so, uh, you know, we, we have to address all of these issues as we are developing, as we are uh, planning. Um, and, and so at every stage of the development life cycle, we, we do have to ensure that we properly address those security considerations. And... Uh, address the fact that we're in a complex distributed environment that we do not have total control but we we need to as far as possible understand the security provisions by the the vendors of the different uh, uh, components of our distributed system and make sure that we have put additional functions in place to uh, properly address any lack by the vendors in terms of what they consider uh, security uh, when it does not meet what we need in terms of security.